York asking them the big question, will they vote for Donald Trump? Let's find out. Okay, here's a man enjoying his uh, shawarma or whatever it is. Sir, it's a would, falafel. Falafel. Would you vote for Donald Trump? No. Do you think he can make America great again, as he claims? No. Well, you, why not? He won the Republican primaries. They're confused. What would you say? Hell no, to your first question. Um, and the Republicans, they were stupid. They, they didn't even want him. All right, well, enjoy your dinner and thanks for the response. Thank you. Would you vote for Donald Trump? Oh boy, I can't, yeah, no. Do you think he has a plan that could revitalize and rebuild America and make it great again? No. Why not? He won the Republican primary. I don't... I, I, I just don't think he has real substance to his, uh, his... I don't think there's enough substance behind his talk, his rhetoric. <laughs> All right, thanks for that. You're welcome. Okay, here we have another New Yorker. Madam, tell us, would you vote for Donald Trump? No, I would not. <laughs> Do you think he will make America great again? No, I do not. No? Why not? He won the Republican primary by a mile. I just think he's a buffoon with some very opinionated choices that I don't agree with. All right. Well, thank you for that. Of course. Okay, madam. Yes. Hold on. I've got to get the light right. <laughs> would you vote for Donald Trump? I would not. You would not? Absolutely not. Do you think he can make America great again as he claims? I don't know about that, but I would not vote for him. No, not a supporter? No. Not, not a fan? A, no. Sir, would you vote for Donald Trump? No. No? No. You, do you think he can make America great again? No. No? No. And why not? Uh, I don't think he has the temperament uh, to be president. Uh, I just think he's unqualified. Right, all right. Generally unqualified. I see. All right, thank you for that. No problem. Madam, would you vote for Donald Trump? No, definitely not. Do you think he can make America great again, as he claims? No, I don't think so. But he won the Republican primary. Surely, you know, he sort of represents the political elite in the country. You have no belief in him? No belief in him. Really? Definitely not. Never. All right, well, thanks for that. Absolutely. Okay, here we are asking a New Yorker, what does he think of Donald Trump? Not my America, not my leader, not my people. Uh, not a know, fan. Uh, or him, of him, or anything that has to do with him, or the system that gave rise to him. I mean, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm over it. Like I'm, a, 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 and and I mean that on the deepest level possible. <laughs> That's your train. You better get it. And I'm done. Thank you. Now tell me, what do you think of Donald Trump? <laughs> Is he the political saviour of the United States or a charlatan and a fool masquerading? I don't even know what to make of him. I think the whole United States government is a fucking joke. And if it, if it did, like, disappeared tomorrow, it'd be, it'd be a happier place. I think people are stupid. Sir, could you tell me, what do you think of Donald Trump? He sucks. You don't like him? No, I ain't with him. No? You can go to hell. Really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> His views are anything like we've been seeing on the news, I ain't with it. All right, thank you, sir. No problem, anytime. Sir, what do you think of Donald Trump? Would you vote for him? Uh, probably not. No? No. Don't like him? Don't like him. Not at all? Not at all. You don't think he'll make America great again? I don't think so, no. No? All right, thanks for that. Sure. Yes. Would you vote for Donald Trump? No. No? Never. Do you think he could make America great again? No. And why not? Because I think he's... he's ridiculous. Ridiculous? Yes. Do you have his building behind yeah, so you? Yes, this is the irony. <laughs> this is the irony. So you think he's ridiculous? Yes. And you wouldn't vote for him? No, I'm sure he's good at something. I'm not sure what, but I don't think it would be being a president. All right, thank you. You're quite welcome. Okay, can you tell me, what do you think of Donald Trump? No. You don't like him? No. You don't think he'll save America? No. So, madam, would you vote for Donald Trump? Absolutely not. Do you think he can make America great again, as he claims? 
he cannot make America great again, though. But he won the Republican primary, so isn't he a pretty good choice? Um, I think he's pandering to people in the U.S., and it's not a good sign for us, actually. Well, that's it from the New Yorkers. They've uh, made up their mind. We have no support for Donald Trump whatsoever. And quite frankly, I think they've got it all wrong. Look, it doesn't really matter which guy you vote for in terms of who's going to be a better governor of the country. I mean, all these countries, when they, the rich get richer, the poor get poorer. And, you know, we're looking at the New York Times today, 11 officers shot full fatally, all this stuff, you, you can't stop that. Um, but I think we've got to realise, why do we read the news, you know? On the one hand here, we read about serious issues, and in the bottom here, summer by the sea, headed to the beach, try to look somewhere between mid-century rebel and Cosmo Kramer. Now, why would you mix serious issues here with ridiculous entertainment, sort of tidbits to um, fascinate you, if you were really cared about what was happening. I think we've got to understand that the newspaper here, and news in general, is really for our entertainment. And um, there is no question, if you vote for Donald Trump, it will be far more entertaining news than if you vote for Hillary. So, New Yorkers, I'd ask you to reconsider your position and vote for who's going to entertain you uh, in the next four years. So, uh, this is Pedro Harvey signing off from uh, the Big Apple and the US of A. Uh, catch you later.